Hi, I'm Ty. I'm Becky, and this is What the Knights Say, and today's topic is going to be dealing... <laughs> he thought of this topic, by the way. Dealing with gaining or losing weight within a relationship. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And before we get into the topic, if you're new to our show, we do this every Monday, every Friday, twice a week. So be sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications so you do not miss another show. And at the end of the show, give us a thumbs up if you like the show. So, who's going to start? I'll let you start. Well, no, you start. You thought of it. Are you we, thought of it. What are you getting angry for? I'm just getting defensive. <laughs> see, see, straight away. So I, I, see, I said to everyone in the last show, if you watched it, What's it like raising mixed race children? And at the end of it, I said, if you don't see me after this one today on Friday, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> you know why. Okay, look. It, it, it's, it, it's, it is a tough subject, in a sense, though, because one can be more sensitive to the, than the other when it comes to, to weight. I mean, I, I gain weight really easy, really easy. But at the same time, I can lose weight quite easily if I cut out my little vices of chocolates and so forth. But while you're gaining weight, and if you're not exercising or taking care of yourself or eating well, it can have an effect on the relationship, it can have an effect on yourself, like mentally, and if you feel confident or not confident, if your partner's not coming on to you, uh, or you can put stuff in your head and say, you know what, you, you don't like me no more, you don't love me no more. Or you, you even, even not that, not that way round, maybe, if you're not feeling good in yourself and you're thinking, I don't want my partner to see me like this. Well, when, when people, so not, yeah, so when people not, turn the lights off and stuff like that when they get into bed or go to the, not the ensuite, but go to the other bathroom because they don't want to get in change in front of you. <laughs> That's or, not the reason I go in there. It's because we, I didn't say you. He ripped but, the curtains down in our bedroom, whereas he'd happily just walk out <laughs> with the whole bloody street being able to see in our true, bedroom. That is true, I do. Whereas I don't want to get dressed with the whole street. What I do when I, get, when I get moisturised and dressed in front of the window... <laughs> It's for the This for guy has got no body shame whatsoever. And if you see me, you know, you know why. <laughs> but the reason why I do that is for those low need women out there. Oh. Right? And I tell you to Rebecca. Anyway, we're coming <laughs> off track now, you Okay, are. yeah, we are, we are, we are. But for those lovely ladies out there who, who are single <laughs> and they're like, oh wow, well, she's so lucky to have him. You know, it's, it's you know it's my it's my duty. But anyway, yeah, go on, let's be serious. What would you say? <laughs> <laughs> I can't no, remember. No, no, we'll say no. If you, if you gain weight, you're trying to lose weight, and you're trying to get that body confidence, it would affect you mentally and physically at the same time. You may see so many nice dresses or clothes for men, and you, you try them on, and I believe I've been through this myself. At one point, uh, I got really big, and I, I put on a lot of muscle, and it, the way it affected me was when I was going shopping in Zara, I used to say to you all the time, I go in there and I couldn't fit into the clothes. So I said, I've got to lose so much weight. So all the hard work I put in, I had to lose all that. But then I went on the other side. I lost the muscle and I gained, I got really fat. Like really fat. I, if I could dig some pictures out. But that was when I was, it, was it when I was pregnant with London? Yeah, oh my God. It was almost like we were eating for two together. Right, sympathy <laughs> weight, sympathy <laughs> weight. I mean, I got to the point where my, people call me cheeks. Right? <laughs> and I, and, my, and like my cheeks got so big, yeah. I, we got pictures out there and I couldn't believe how, how I looked. But it, it does get to the point where, because I've never not found Tyrone unattractive. I, I've always been attracted to him, which is good. <laughs> you should be attracted to your partner. Um, but there does come times when yeah, I see that he's eating too much. And Way it's, too it's much. almost like, how do you, how do you tell them you're... She doesn't say nothing, right? I'm going to tell you this right now. She's talking like this, like, how do I tell him? <laughs> how about how do you tell she, your partner? She don't oh, tell me. Babe, I think you need to ease back without offending them, because... I don't hold back. I say how it is. I say, baby, look, you yeah, need to do something. Yeah, he doesn't care. I do. I say, look, baby, I think you need to do some exercise, and I think you need to do this, I think you need to do that. Because I think you... Some it, people probably would think that Ty is quite harsh, or an arsehole. I get called an arsehole a lot. Yeah. I do. But you sometimes you've got to be straight with your partner because if you pussyfoot yeah, around the subject... I didn't, no, it's not pussyfoot. You do sometimes have to have be a bit sensitive. You do. But then how can you be sensitive and be like, baby, do you know what? Do you think we should go work out together? Or do you think we should do this together? It sounds great, but in reality, you know it's not going to end up being great because... The yeah, but I work better when you, when you say like... Um, go on. 
unless I really want to start this diet because for myself and for you, when, when you do involve yourself together, I, I'm like all up for it. Yes, let's do that vegan thing for two months. <laughs> like, yeah, it was good though, wasn't it? It we, was we, good. We, and we, we lost a lot of weight. We did lose a lot of weight. I think when you do things together and support each other, like I'm a more softer person, you guys probably suss that out by now. Yes. When you do things as a couple and support each other, to me, it makes me want to do it more. And... It also, it makes me as a woman feel a bit more close and feel a bit more sexy with you. Whereas if you say to me, I think you need to do something like them jeans do not fit you anymore. I don't say that. You, you, yeah, sometimes yeah. you've been harsh. All I think is, oh my God. Freak. Like, yeah, well, that. Yeah. Okay. But then I do, and then you wonder why I'm getting changed in the bathroom and not in front of you because you've just made Wait, me realise that just, I have some. Uh, some okay, I, 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 never, I never said about that stuff. I never said about that. See, I keep some stuff to you myself. Make me extra paranoid. Whereas I think. But we go to the gym together. We go to the gym together now. Yeah, we do now. Okay, which is okay right. Okay. And I think, I think if. You, in every relationship, especially if you've been together for a long time, 16 years we've been together, 16 years. Long years. So, you know, you you are going to... You're, you're, you're always going to be attracted to a certain type and you're always going to want your partner to um, please you. or Not please yeah, yeah. you, but be, you know... Always, always be attractive, always be attentive as you was in the beginning when, in your relationship. That's the thing. I'm not going to look like I did when I was 24, but... What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the good old days. <laughs> but I think it's important for yourself as well to make effort with um, yourself. Yes. Um, but I don't think there is any, in my opinion, I don't think there's anything wrong in telling your partner that... they put on a few pounds. They've put on a few pounds. But try and say it in a nice way. And to me, it works when we do things yes. together. Yeah, right. As much as everyone... Everyone that knows me really, really knows me knows I am a bit of a sometimes critical, like, critical and an arsehole, right? But I'm actually a nice arsehole at the you same are time. Nice. I am a nice arsehole in the sense of I always tell you it's the truth. I'll just come out and just tell you the truth, whether it's going to hurt you or not. I will just tell you the truth because I think sometimes when you're soft in telling someone, they'll take it as oh, you know what they said this, but you know it's kind of cool. I'll get on with it. And I think I'm just more direct of like, look, yeah. you've, got, you've got to sort this out because if you don't sort it out, this is going to be the consequences of it. And sometimes you've got to make people aware what the consequences are. There's just a nice way of saying, you know what, if you don't do this, Rebecca, you know what, your clothes may not fit you that much, so we're going to have to get your big size. <laughs> I don't know how else you've got to tell someone. you just got to say to someone, look, honey, I think you've got to work out. I think we've got to do this. You know, you're not putting in the effort no more. You're kind of slacking. I'm doing my part. You're not doing your part. <laughs> No, I'm not saying to you, I'm just saying it will get to the point where people wonder why people either go or they leave or whatever yeah. it is, or their eyes wander or they're on um, Instagram looking at different people not being attracted to them rather than the partner. It's because you haven't got the guts to tell your partner, I still want you, I still need you, you just got to fix yourself up and go and fix yourself up. Mm. In you, a nice way. In a nice way. But you just got to get to that point and say, look, honey, we, we've got to do something together. I know I'm not pulling my weight, so let's do something together. Yeah. But if there's one person in a relationship that is pushing their, pulling their weight to make themselves feel good, want to feel good, I'm doing it for themselves, but also doing it so their partner can be attracted to them, and the other partner's not doing their job, then I'm sorry. No, you've got to be straight with that partner. Yeah. You can't just pussy forward. But not... Um, no, you've not got to tell a, them. No, but not in a horrible way, because otherwise they might think, dickhead. Um... You know what I mean? And they, they might. But, but you've got to do it, especially if you do want to be together as a couple. You do. You do, like, that's what I say, like, we've now joined the gym together and it actually, I feel like it's making us closer. No. Oh, shut up. Just bring it up to my level. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I, I, after watching the Jordan documentary, I can see why oh, me Lord. and him have got a lot in common. No. But no, joking aside. Yeah. If you wasn't pulling your weight and I kept on saying to you, do your stuff, do your stuff, please come on, do this, come on, look, please, please, and I'm begging you, you can't be bothered. I'm sorry, then how much more can you be nice and not be nice about it to tell someone? If you were... Bless him, this is what I had to, to tell you. This, 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 <laughs> this is what I told him last month. What's that? <laughs> Get to my level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not working out. And now I'm packed on a lot more weight. And now... And Look, like, it's lockdown. Gym's shut. I, have, I haven't really gained that much weight. You I can't have, exactly I have, call me fat. I, I have gained so much weight. It's, it's depressing me. It really is, actually. Let's take a moment here. <laughs> But, no, but I think support each other as a yes. couple. Be honest. 100%. Be, always be honest with each other. 
um, and just support each other. I don't think there's anything wrong, or even the other way around. If you think that they're they're not um, eating enough nutrition, it, your health as well. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, just yeah. so. If you notice maybe they're lo two. they're losing too much weight, or you know, you just notice that they're really eating bad food, or um, well, do you know what? If if your partner won't listen to you, but you know your partner's going to listen to, let's say, the mum or the dad. Have a conversation with the mum or dad and then try and use them oh as Oh my a... god, how do you tell someone's dad like your daughter's gained a bit of... <laughs> oh, no, I don't Boy, think you've got to you know go. I, try, I don't I, I, think I, you've got to go to because my mum would slap you right No, <laughs> if you can say, look, I've got... You'd know, be like, hey, I've got, I've got a concern. And my concern is this. Is that she's... Yeah, I understand if she's being unhealthy. Right, that's what I'm saying. So if you're thinking of a way, you got, you got, yeah. you, if, you can't, if you cannot get through to your partner, you've got to use yeah. other avenues to yeah, try, if, to try if, and do it. If it's affecting their health, then yes. Yes. Health or whatever, you've got to use as many methods as possible to try and get through to your partner. Fix yourself up, please. Oh. But I think there's other ways of doing it. Um, okay, do not take this in any way that this is my hint to you because it wasn't. If your partner's feeling not attractive anymore or not sexy, maybe buy them clothes or buy them things to make them feel sexy. So buy things that they wouldn't normally wear. And say, well, he oh. does that anyway. He's Yeah, I'm always buying He's stuff. always buying me clothes, which is good. <laughs> yeah. So buy your partner clothes and say, look, baby, I think you're going to look sexy in this. So if you think your partner's not going to do anything about, let's say, working out or trying to do something, then make it feel still special, still feel good, and say, well, you know what? I like it how you are. I think you'll look sexy in this. And I saw this, and I'm thinking, I don't think you'll go for it. But I think if you dress, you wear this, you'll look sexy. And say, go on, go and put it on. Make it feel good that way. Yeah. That's that's what that's how I feel. Now I don't buy clothes, uh, big, anything bigger or small. I just buy clothes for her size. But I always also encourage Rebecca to dress in a different way. I say, look, are you gonna do it? It takes her ages to pull the trigger buying clothes. You know? I know sometimes he like he buys buy some like stuff that I wouldn't pick. And then I take it out of the box. He's obsessed with buying me Zara stuff. So I get a lot of Zara clothes. Yeah. And I open up the box. It's lovely when you get a delivery from Zara because it's all in tissue paper. And I get it out and I think, uh... Yeah, I see, her, <laughs> I see her face. And I'm like, all right. It, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, really? 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 No, I'm saying really, like, really? I'm like, really? Yeah, I see her face. And I'm like, really? She's saying really? I'm like, and I'm like... Oh, God. And I say, go and, and, it, and I go, go and pull it on. And then what happens? No, I end up liking it, but sometimes I they like some outfits. Like I've I've got some for holiday, like a white yeah. outfit, and I'm like, oh god, I go out for my legs out, and and then she will, <laughs> she will have to wear it. And I think that's how you. That's another way of encouraging your partner. Yeah. To if you don't feel sexy, you've got to make them feel sexy. You've got to do things and buy stuff. Say, look, you're gonna look sexy in this. And if you and if you're doing it and you're being genuine about it, it will work. Mm. It will work. So when I say I'm a nice arsehole, that's me being a nice arsehole. <laughs> and people watching it who know me say, Ty, you're still an arsehole. <laughs> so I get called up pretty much every week. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. let's round things up Yes. Now. So, be honest with your partner, number one. And that's the first, most important brutal thing. Brutal honesty. Be honest brutal. with your partner. But nice honest or brutal honest or in the middle honest? Or, or, or just do it in a way, so if I keep cutting you off. Yes, sir. Or do, do, <laughs> or do it in a way that suits your partner's needs of the personality yes, that they are. that you know that's not going to hurt them, but you know it's going to reach them. Um, so, yeah, do it, in, do it in a way that you know it's going to reach them, but not going to hurt them. But always be honest in a relationship. I think it's so important. Otherwise, you're just going to be unhappy yourself. That person's just going to carry on, and you're not going to work. It'll fizzle out. It'll fizzle it'll, out. It'll fizzle. Um, so, yes, be honest and um, work together as a team. As, as best as you possibly can. I think it's, it's the best as yeah. possible. But if you know your other partner is doing more than what you're doing, it's, it's upon you to take it upon yourself to make the effort. You may not have to go to their intensity, to their level of what they yeah. do, but be conscious of how you're then going to feel afterwards because your partner starts changing, starts looking good. You're going to start having some mental stuff going your head thinking, now he or she looks so good, I don't look so good. But you're, I, you haven't got to be ripped, shredded no, and things like that no. to look good. No. The, people come in all weight, sizes, shapes and sizes. Shapes and sizes. Yes. I think if I think it's just about making yourself feel good in, your, 100%, in yourself. 100%, yes. Because, you know, I'm not going to be as slim as I was when I first met you, not but sure. I know that... I'm joking, I'm joking. But I know it's... <laughs> Sometimes just having that self confidence makes yeah. you even sexier. Yeah. Um, but obviously, health wise, yes, and and I 
there's some things I want to work on and, and things he needs to work on. But <laughs> wow. I bet people are like going, yes, yes, he gave it to him. Yes, he gave it to him. Yeah, but I'm very uh, attracted to him and I hope he's attracted to me. But um, I was. <laughs> up until that point. Be comment. honest with each other. If you do think you need to express something to your yeah. partner, then I 100% think there's nothing wrong with it and just sit down, have that conversation with each other and work together as a team. Yeah, and that's the best you can do. You can only be a team in this and, you know, you're going to get people like me, you're going to get people like Rebecca, you're going to get people, in a sense, when I say that, personalities and how that partner can deal with it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can, you start off being nice and then you, your, t your tone changes and then can end up being fed up about it. Mm -hmm. So that's why people's tones tend to change and attitudes tend to change through it. So... But that's our advice. That is that's our advice, and that is our take. And this is basically us talking the way we talk, is because it's what we've gone through all, all this time. I never knew you thought I was fat. You, know, I never even said. you did, but we'll talk about this afterwards. All right, guys, I'm Ty. I'm Becky. And we're What the Night Say. Thanks for watching. Remember, thumbs up, give us a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification so you do not miss another show once it gets uploaded. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye. Bye.